Hi there, I'm Bryce Tomlinson from New Depth Media, and this is Mind Power. This episode is kind of a special episode. It's sort of like my life story for the week. Uh, in the last week, I became a partner on the Bro Bryce 2009 channel on YouTube. And with that, I started submitting my videos for revenue sharing. Now, I cannot believe the ringer that I've been put through, and I just want to share some of this with you. Some of the pitfalls and caveats that I've had to encounter with the Mind Power channel have helped to prepare me for uh, the disputes that I would have to face with the Bro Bryce 2009 channel. And some of them are as follows. For instance, if you have Creative Commons music in your videos, Okay. You need to be prepared to prove that you actually have the rights to use the specific songs that you are using. You need to uh, specifically list the title, the artist, and the label, and even if that is you, you still need to provide that information and you need to provide proof that uh, you have the right to use it commercially. And this may actually involve, if you created the music yourself, it may actually involve you showing the actual license of the software you use to create it and whether or not you can use it commercially. Also, um, you may be required to actually provide links to license information regarding specific songs. So for instance, if you are using Kevin MacLeod's music from Incompetech, or if you are using Audio Nautics music, Jason Shaw, or if you're using Rick Van Man's music, you may be required to provide links to their actual page showing that you have the license to use that specific song commercially, that they actually give permission to use it commercially. So be prepared to offer that. You should probably provide that information up front in the actual description when you're entering that video for a partnership. Okay, so you should be prepared to do that. If you're using songs that are free for commercial use, that's not the same as Creative Commons music. And Creative Commons music, largely, most of it, is non-commercial. So you need to be very specific and look at the license yourself to make sure that you can use it commercially. Because YouTube Partnership is commercial. They are advertising, putting commercials on your videos. So you need to be uh, prepared for that. Also, if you're using stock music in your software, like for instance, uh, some of the music that comes with uh, Movie Edit Pro, and for instance, you can look at the license on that, and much of that media, much of the graphic media and the music media that's included in that, it specifically states in many software packages that you cannot use it for commercial use, that it's for personal use only and YouTube is prepared to question you about this. Now I believe that this has something to do with the fact that they are releasing a whole rash of new partners into the partnership program and um, and I believe that they are actually reinforcing some of the they're, they're actually I think being forced actually to to use some stronger um, uh, straining tactics I would say. Uh, you need to be prepared to show your actual software licenses. You may uh, you may download and print those in PDF files, send those to them. You may have to send them signed, scanned documents and statements from actual musical artists. If it's yourself, you need to sign documents and be prepared to send them to them. They'll usually provide you with a fax number. Uh, in my case, I actually just attached JPEGs of the actual images that I scanned of my signed documents. So I had to be prepared to do that. And of course, with, uh, with many of the videos, they honored it. With some of them, they did not. Um, if you're using video with stock elements, for instance, uh, I don't know, water, uh, you might have footage of a field or something, you need to be prepared to provide evidence that you are licensed to use that commercially. And again, you may be required by YouTube, and they actually, this, this is in the terms of service, you can actually be required to show that you are commercially licensed to use that software commercially. Um, if you have characters or images, including photographs, stuff that you may have like, you know, done a Google photo search or something like that, you need to show that you have the right to use that material commercially. They can question you, they can knock you out, they can also delete your video. So, um, also transitions. Some transitions that you have in your videos, even if you're using Windows Movie Maker, there are some transitions that are not commercially licensed. They're not licensed for commercial use 
and or they may require that you pay a fee to be commercially licensed to use them. So be prepared to show that you have the right to use this content. There's a whole new strain of, of uh, YouTube partner support messages going out right now. I submitted about a hundred videos and out of that so far uh, eight or nine of those videos were disputed. Two of them were actually turned down. Um, one of them was a video that I submitted that um, that I had used my Logitech webcam software to actually like you know I had a character of a cat and I was talking to a Canadian stud muffin in my video and uh, it was this animated 3D character that moved when I moved and it's just you know using the Logitech software to to create that video they declined to use that for uh, revenue sharing and they also threatened to remove it from YouTube so be aware you're not allowed to use that commercially. Um, also, any videos that have the YouTube logo in them, red flag, red flag, you're probably not allowed to use that commercially for your own commercial gain. And uh, uh, whether or not they do it is gonna be up to them. And just know that in all of this, YouTube has the final say as to whether your video gets declined or enabled for revenue sharing they do have the final say and when they do it's that's that you may be forced to make some revisions to your video to make it eligible for the partnership program you may have to delete some kind of material you may have to you know take some music out also know that if you put up anything that gets flagged okay there's a almost no chance whatsoever that you will make it into the partnership program and there's a good chance you can lose your partnership pro you can lose your partnership privileges if your videos get flagged for any reason so always be aware that that's a possibility you can always dispute a claim that's uh, that's usually a very diplomatic process but there's a good chance if you get flagged and it sticks for instance a copyright infringement claim if you get flagged and it sticks boy you're just up a creek so I just wanted to uh, shed some light on some things that have been happening this week um, like I said I got disputed on the itsy bitsy spider song which is a public domain song uh, that my niece was singing in a video and uh, they actually asked me to prove that it was public domain I have um, several of my videos that have two particular songs and I'm skip a beat and Newport experiment um, both of which were, uh, one of which was used uh, ProTracker on the Amiga, which is a freeware program, and they asked me to prove that I have the license to use that commercially. Uh, they asked me to prove that I have the license to use Reason commercially uh, to produce my own music. They asked me to, um, they asked me to, of course, uh, prove that I have the commercial right to use the Logitech webcam software, which evidently I don't. Um, I have another video with uh, the same music in it. Uh, I have the Jubba videos, and Jubba has his own theme song now, so they questioned me about the Jubba theme song and whether I have the right to use that. Of course, that uh, that was actually resolved. Uh, I have another video that uh, that I had another song called Carry This Cross, which was also developed with Reason. Uh, they are asking me to provide proof that, that I own the rights to be able to uh, commercially use uh, music with that but uh, that video was resolved so just so you know these are some of the pitfalls these are some of the things they can ask you for they really have been putting me through the ringer they ask me for more information I send them sign signed documents they send me three four more messages asking me for more information um, one of them was you know of course asking for proof that itsy bitsy spider was a public domain song okay you know I don't mean to be ridiculous but Aren't we getting a little ridiculous? Anyway, you guys, stay well. Have a great Christmas season. God bless you, and we'll see you soon.